For those of you who aren't aware, hacking has finally arrived in Rocket League. That's right, one of the best aspects of this game, being no hackers, has finally been ruined as players have gained the ability to code an AI bot with high level skills to play for them in ranked matches. I ran into a hacker for the first time on my Twitch stream this past Friday, and well, this was my reaction. Oh my god! Look at how this car is moving! It's a fucking bot, dude! I will be showing and analyzing this entire 1v1 game, but first, let's go over everything we need to know about these Rocket League hackers. Around a year ago, the Nexto bot was created by RLBot as an experiment to test the limits that an AI bot can truly go. Fast forward one year later, and this bot is now being coded and used by real human beings to win their ranked matches for them. Oh, and by the way, the Nexto bot has a combined 250,000 hours of experience. So what are these bots capable of? Well, not much. Oh, other than the fact that they can perfectly flick on net, perfectly 50-50, perfectly pinch, read your every move, and basically outplay you. Yeah, it's f***ed up. So, how can you tell if you're facing a bot? In the moment, the easiest way to know is to watch the replay when they score on you. And trust me, they will definitely score on you. Their car will make micro adjustments and glitch while it tries to lock onto whatever it's attempting to lock onto. Another way to know if your opponent is a bot or not is to challenge them whenever they have possession of the ball. If this is indeed a bot, it should be able to flick the ball at the perfect time on net. That is because these bots have a radius around them that they react to once you enter it. That's why they also make these micro adjustments and glitch out a little whenever you're anywhere around them. They also play only in free cam. These are some perfect examples to prove this one specific player is a bot. The bot remains in free cam this entire game and somehow reads these impossible reads. One way I learned to spot these bots out is if the bot were to win, look at the winner's circle after the game ends, and if it is a bot, they should be boosting in a straight line. Another way to tell post-game is to save the replay and look at the opponent's point of view. You can also look up their user on Rocket League Tracker and look at their MMR over the past few days. I ended up looking up the stats of the first bot that I played, and these were his stats. On January 11th, he was in plat, as he had been for the past 9 months. Fast forward five days later and all of a sudden he's in grand champion too. Then if we look at his ones rank he was plat one on the 8th of January and ended up in champ three nine days later. This may actually be the best way to tell if you went up against a hacker or not because it is most likely going to be the lower ranked players that code these bots to play for them so that they can get an easy carry. But now that we have gone over everything that you need to know about these Rocket League bot hackers let's look at my first experience against one of them. The game starts and I am just hoping that I don't run into a bot. At this point I had only known about this hack for about a day. I I knew what the bot was and what it was capable of, but I wasn't going to truly understand its potential until I faced it one on one. Seen a flick here. Yep, sure did. He sure did. Now, going into these games this night, I was being super aware of who I was playing. I was watching their every move, every flick, every save. I may have been paying a little too much attention to my opponent. It's time for me to not play Rocket League. This game was actually pretty close for the first half of it, but with the way I was playing, I was doomed. Although I do think ones is like, oh my God. But then it just started getting out of hand. But maybe, I mean, if we don't play them, maybe. Holy shit, man. It was goal after goal after goal, and I still was not understanding what was going on. He's gonna flick it, I know he is. But then, I was starting to catch on a little bit. Hold on. There's no shot this is a bot, right? Oh, it's a bot. Chat, is this a fucking bot? Oh my god! Look at how this fucking car is moving! It's a fucking bot, dude! Are you me? If the wacky kickoffs and the scoreboard was not enough evidence, you can clearly tell this is a bot by the way he's dribbling. And you look, like, he, he's flipping. Watch. Dude, it's a fucking bot! It's an actual- Oh my god! So the reason I think it's a bot is because every kickoff he does, he just drives in a straight line. I believe the bot has been updated to do speed flips now, but at the time, all the bot could do on kickoffs was just drive straight and try to read where you were hitting it. I'm getting fucking destroyed. That's amazing. I literally could not believe my eyes. And at the time that I am recording this, I have now come across four different bots. And my friend Lamar has come across at least 10. And the crazy thing is that they can also split screen bots. Can you believe that? This is an issue that severely needs to be fixed as it is literally ruining ranked gameplay in Rocket League. The fact that I am hesitant to go into a ranked game because I'm afraid I'm gonna get beat by a bot is a huge issue in the game. 
So it's a day later and Psyonix actually came out with a Reddit post updating us on the whole bot situation. They basically said that they are aware of the bot accounts and that they have sent out a ban wave that should cover uh, most of the accounts. So after all, it does look like the bot accounts are finally coming to an end. I think we can all agree when I say that Psyonix was already on top of the situation whenever it first became a problem, but it just would have been a little better if they would have come public with it like day one. But let me know your guys' opinions on these bot accounts and the experiences that you've had with them. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's a fucking bot. It's a fucking bot. It's actually a fucking hacker. Holy shit. That is so sad. Dude, what the fuck?